For every scene of pastoral beauty in Bosnia at peace today, the reminder of death seems to crouch, hiding just behind. I've seen the war now on four occasions. This time, there were no mad scrambles out of heavy fire. The eerie silence here now shouts its own deadly warnings. On a morning in Serb Sarajevo, walking at the front line. We were told suddenly to stop and not walk in the grass. And this is why. This is a live mine. It's waiting to go off. Just a few moments before that, I shot this video of Fox cameraman Jeff Sutker at work. The mine lay ahead in his path. A Serb soldier warned me, Wait. Jeff kept going, unaware of the deadly round canister directly ahead. As he continued, he missed stepping on it by only a foot and a half. Jeff. I called and he came back, this time passing the deadly mine by only three feet. Sniper fire here stands as the psychological symbol of the most insidious torture of this war. Nowhere is it worse than places like Serb Sarajevo, the Gerbavica district, where it looks like a tornado struck armed with rifles and cannon. It's almost impossible to explain what the feeling is here. It's really one of terror. We're told that in the white building off to my left, there are Muslim snipers, and they are watching us and quite possibly have us in their crosshairs. At any time, we're told they could open fire. There are Serbs, too, tucked away in buildings with sniper rifles. A yeah, Serbian commander really told me, this is all insanity where we're standing. That we're, that we're completely out in the open like this. There were 50 meters from us. And one of them could be drunk right now or could be nervous. And can very easily open fire on us. Official ceasefire is in effect. Right now, it seems to be holding. Tomorrow, it could be a completely different story. I know how different from personal experience. During a 1991 ceasefire, I shot this video of Croatian soldiers. I was unaware a Serb sniper had lined me up in the crosshairs of his rifle. This trip, I followed a Serb fighter onto a rooftop overlooking Sarajevo. Right now, on top of this building, we can see the entire city. If you look out over here, you can see there are, are Muslim sniper positions. And we're told that the snipers are in position, even though there's a ceasefire, and watching us as we stand up here. It's hard to believe there are people here, people trying to filter the surreal violence, trying to believe that even with death daily slapping them in the face, life can go on. Here we found 17-year-old Predrov Girje, looking as though he could be a Serb from Chicago's northwest side, except that a sniper cut him down once. He was later hit by a grenade. It's hard to grow up like that, he says. It's a tense piece here now. Even the war can't denude this land of its enchanting storybook beauty. Far different from other times I came here to witness this conflict. Fire's coming back. At us. I won't forget the tears here. Or the fog, Magla the Serbs call it. Or dangerous, icy, winding canyon roads. We saw few open signs of armed soldiers. After taking this picture of Serb troops, we were detained by military police several hours, taken to jail, then later released. Serbs aren't fond of Americans these days. Again and again, we were threatened with death. It's hard to tell whether it's sunrise or sunset in Bosnia, whether peace will take root and flourish or die like so many of the people. There is hope here, but not much. Do you think there will be peace? Maybe. With maybe. This, with maybe. this peace plan? Sure. Maybe. But I don't know, really.